Hello there, my name's Card. I'm a long-time progressive community organiser and activist. And today, I just wanted to briefly talk about a relatively obscure reactionary dog whistle that's been around for a few years now, as well as what it really means and who's using it. For those who might not know, in politics, a dog whistle is a word, a phrase, or a symbol which seems perfectly innocent and innocuous to most, but which really communicates a more sinister hidden message to those in the know. There'll also be a playlist of videos of mine at the top of the description, which goes into detail about all sorts of reactionary dog whistles and how to spot them. Today, specifically, I wanted to talk about the word glowing and how it's become a contemporary reactionary meme. Among a large swath of the alt-right, state authority and law enforcement personnel and government employees are all much maligned. Not for any substantive or systemic critique reason, like how those things might be viewed with suspicion by those of us on the left, but simply because the online right knows that the government and law enforcement can still crack down on them if they wanted to. Reactionaries aren't really anti-cop in the same way a radical progressive is. They just fear that one day the government might decide to treat them like they did the reactionaries at Ruby Ridge or Waco. To that end, for about the last 30 years, a lot of reactionary jokes and proto-memes have centred around a personal distrust of government agencies and the people who work for them. Also, quite often, the in-jokes and references the online right uses nowadays have been built up over years and years. What happens is that pre-existing lingo evolves and adapts and is very slowly modified to the point where what those people are frequently joking about now actually bears very little direct resemblance to what originally inspired it. That was why, a few years back now, the reactionary dislike of federal law enforcement was essentially synthesised with the barely coherent ramblings of a highly schizophrenic online personality the alt-right was a big fan of. In one particular instance, this mentally unwell figure the online right was following began to describe US federal employees uh, with a long stream of slurs and closed by claiming that government employees, quote, glow in the dark. That phrase, glow in the dark, became an online right-wing meme overnight. And they use it among one another to describe anyone they believe to be a government agent. If they say someone or something is glowing or glowy, it means they're suspicious of whatever they're referring to. The other way in which they use glowing as a piece of iconography is in visual memes, in which the suspicious object or person is typically shown shaded in a luminescent light green or with a glowing aura about them. If you go to a website like Twitter and just search for glowy, you'll see exactly what I mean. Again, I'll reiterate that reactionaries don't have a substantive anti-authoritarian critique to make. They're just paranoid that the boot of the state might one day come down on them. And the main way in which they call out state-aligned power is with a term that is lifted straight from a slur-filled psychotic breakdown. If you see someone calling someone else a glowy or a glow-in-the-dark online, they picked up that term from alt-right circles. If they're not an avowed alt-writer themselves, then at the very least, they're far too comfortable and familiar with using their terminology. To that end, if you see someone using those sorts of terms online or elsewhere, they're not the sort of person you should let hang around or try to engage with. So, for the sake of keeping you and yours safe, please just keep it in mind and keep your eyes open for that sort of thing. Once again, my name's Card. If you might want to hear more from me, especially more about emerging or obscure dog whistles and how to spot them, feel free to subscribe to this YouTube page or take a look at my other videos. Goodbye for now, and stay safe out there.